Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming TCS NQT exam on 14th January. So as you all know in TCS NQT exam, you will have two coding questions. One will be from medium and one will be from hard level question, right? So today we will discuss an advanced coding question which is important for you if you are willing to get a digital can willing to get a position of digital right so let's uh, talk about the question so the question is regarding a house problem so the question is there are n houses built in line each of which contains some value in it a thief is going to steal the maximal value of these houses but he can't steal into adjacent houses because the owner of the stolen houses will tell his two neighbors left and right side so basically you will be given an array and uh, this will be and uh, this will be integer values and uh, if a thief steal from the first uh, values then he can't steal from the second value i mean the second index and if he st starts stealing from second index then he can't steal from the third and first index right so i hope you understood okay so the question is what is the maximum stolen value so this is inputs input format that is first an integer n denoting how many houses are there and then n space separated integers denoting the values for the n houses will be in the second line and here is the output format is that is an integer denoting the maximum value possible to steal right so I hope you uh, seeing the question you guessed that this is from dynamic programming question so let's see at first uh, the input uh, sample input that is 7 is the number of houses and these are the values for each houses uh, uh, each houses they have marked right so 6 7 1 3 8 2 5 and output is 20 how I'm explaining let's uh, let's say the thief starts stealing from 6 right so he can't steal from this house because the owner of this house will tell his neighbor right right side and left side so he can't the thief can't steal from this house so he has to go here and when these houses has been stolen then this house's owner will tell this house and this house owner right so he, the thief can't steal from this house as well so he has to go to this house right so this way the thief steals 6 1 8 and 5 and the result is 6 plus 1 plus 8 is plus 5 is equal to 20 right and uh, uh, this is the maximal values he can steal right so uh, you can choose any other combination but uh, this combination is the maximal that's why we have to give this as output right okay let's see another example let's say uh, the number of houses are 4 and the values for uh, the houses is 1, 2, 3 and 4 right. So here uh, what can be the maximal values that is 2 plus 4 is 6 and 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 so 4 plus 2 is 6 so it is it will be the proper output that means it will be the maximal values the thief can steal right. Okay let's see another example which will be uh, which will uh, make you more clear that is let's say the first value is 30 so let's say uh, the number of houses is 4 and 30 is the first house value then the number is 2 and the third value is 1 and fourth value is 5 right so now guess what will be the output in this case so as we did here that is we just added uh, the even values i mean the even position values and we got the output and here also we just added the even position values or the odd position values then got the maximal values but what happened when we get this type of values <coughs> sorry let's say uh, so 30 to 1 and 5 so 30 plus 2 sorry 30 plus 1 that is 31 and 2 plus 5 that is uh, 7 so what is the maximum value that is 31 but there can be another combination that is 30 plus 5 that is 35 and this will be the maximal values the thief can buy and this is possible because if he buy he, if the thief steal from this house then he can't steal from this house right but he can steal from this house right 
so 30 plus 5 is equal to 35 this is the maximum values the thief can buy so i hope uh, you understood what you have to do and uh, I, I, so I hope you can solve the problem I'm just giving you a hint that this problem can be solved by dynamic programming but I will not solve the problem today right so I hope you will try to solve the problem if you face any issue any problem then let me know in the comment section uh, if you want the code in Java or Python please mention that in comment section I will provide the answer because I have the answer available but I will not solve uh, so that you can be more prepared from your side right so if you found this video helpful and informative then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding tcs and qt and please share this channel with your friends so that they can also take help from this right and if you want the prime materials then please knock me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.uf and uh, i will provide you the material right so thank you for today's session